Hey, some, pour some uh, libation. Well, it's not libation. Libation would be outside. But, but I'm not outside. I'm in, I'm in the RV. But pour I, uh, uh, something to um, cool my palate. Well, what did Samuel Jackson say in that in that movie? In Pulp Fiction, said something about the some palate with the the drink or whatever, with the Sprite, whatever it was. Mm, no, bad people love Sprite. Okay, look, I got um, I got a package. I know what it is. It's from the uh, Gullah Gourmet, ninety five, uh, tri tail. Till Oak Avenue in Charleston, South Carolina. I'll let you all figure out what's in Charleston. What's it? What would be down in Charleston, South? What would be down in South Carolina? I'm gonna open this up in a bit. But but what happened was I was uh um, I'm at my sister's house. A lot of my stuffs here. A lot of my books are here and photos and stuff like that. And she just found these photos. Let me see if I can find. Bunch of photos. Let me just look at these right here, real quick. Now, this is me back in the. I don't, I'm not going to show you these photos. Leave those alone right now. Just a second. Just a second. Hold on. I'm going through. Oh, I know what this is. This is the scripts. No, you'll get that some other time. This is actually the scripts for this this uh play here that we didn't play. Or audio drama we did. The Outsider. This is the t shirt for The Outsider. I still got a t shirt like that. Let me go. Let me find what I'm looking for here. Oh, here. Here it is. This hat I got on right now. See, I used to, uh, there used to be three of us at the, uh, crafts fair at WBI. Every winter they have a craft, winter's craft for like three weeks. They had overnight security for the, um, because it only happens on the weekend. Had overnight security, you know. And, uh, so the three people of security is basically me. You see me there on the, whatever, with the, the red thing there. And the other red guy sitting down, that's Michael G. Long time. Well, we all were engineers, really. And, uh, that's, uh, Max. Max, Max Mead, he runs the old time radio thing. Um, you know, we, we, we all three of us, we are trying, we were really, really, really good. But you see, I'm wearing this hat there because I got this hat at the, I bought it at the, um, at the crafts, at the crafts fair that year. Hmm. In fact, that was the year, this may be the next year that happened. This picture was taken that next year, I think, because the first year is when I was there, I sort of locked my hair. <laughs> two weeks I locked my hair but I think this is next year my hair had a growth of hair by then or maybe it was two years later but the the, the the woman right there she's the one that created these hats see she has that color handle it was her booth you see she had the Statue of Liberty she had the inspired by the Statue of Liberty I always thought of it as like the buckwheat hat but whatever happened but because of my locks and the way they look yeah look I don't, you can't see it really here right now but see my locks are pretty pretty long anyway when I wore these on uh, my locks then it really looked like um, um, it looked like you know Jesus in the crown of thorns. One time I was going through the subway, you know, or, or, or train cars, right? And I, I kid you not, it was, for some train, it was like it looked like a whole car full of Latino folks, right? You know, most of them are Catholic, and they all you could hear it almost like collect like they all looked because it looked like Jesus walk, walking through like that. I think my niece one time said something about me looking like Jesus back then because she, she was young back then. Oh, but anyway, so I got this. Uh, so that's why I'm wearing it. Not because this hat was there too. But this was there too. So I'm just wearing this now just because I, I like it. Plus, it, I have this color thing, I guess. I didn't realize this, but my wife made me some pants. I think I can show it to you all here. If I can put my foot up here. My foot up here. See these pants? The colors are gray, gray and maroon. Right, it's a anyways gray and maroon, and that's the hats gray and maroon. Well, black in there too, right? So I like this hat. I can't wear it because well, it says if you see how it's loose now because I don't have the lock. So I got. <laughs> what was I looking for? Oh, so anyway, so I got this box here. So I'm going like I know exactly what's in this box, but it came quick too. You know, everybody's doing the Amazon thing of wow, what's the question? You know, they, they, you know, you do, it was, this, this box, this, what's in this box was available other places, right? And it, it costs a little bit more for me to do it, to go to the, the Color Gourmet website and get it done rather than having to ship it from, um, you know, those, those other people, you know what I mean? 
so I purposely, you know, because it's Geechee, Gullah, 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 my peoples, you know what I mean? So I got to support my peoples. I'm going to get down there one of these days, South Carolina. Take a, take a ride down there. Let me open this. Come on now. Oh, they put extra tape on that side. So, uh, there we go. Sorry it takes so long. I'm not sorry it takes it so long. It's the way it is, you know? I like this. But this is that uh, almond cashew silk protein drink or whatever it is. I don't know. Almond use a lot of water. I don't know if that should be, if the almond should be good for you. So I'm open the thing right there. Got the whole thing. See, really legal. Like that. I put a lot of cocky in here. There it is. Ta da! Boom, 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 boom. What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? Come on, you can read it. You can read it. Come on, let you read it. Uh huh. Uh huh. The New Testament. Gullah. In Gullah. So, since I got that, I, I just say, oh, you know, I have, a, I have a saying. Well, actually, I got it from a long time ago. I first heard it from uh, Frederick K. Price. It was his thing for his congregation, for his little thing down in California, right? Back in the day. Actually, I've been doing this since the 80s. 2008, the Bible having this saying because I, when I started traveling extensively, well, I myself really started, and when I left my job, I used this phrase, which is like, we walk by faith, not by sight. And so when I told people, say, well, how do you do? Because I used to travel with no money and stuff like that. I mean, I'd be some places like, you know, nobody's, I'm the only black person there. You know, I was at, I had a lot. Well, first I was traveling with locks, but then I was traveling with locks, but I'm the only black person there. Bunch of things like that. And then when, you know, the people, all oh, stuff, how do you do that? You know, and I said, well, you know, you travel without money? You ain't, you know, because I don't have any. I mean, I'm like low to the ground. Um, don't let this, this is not my stuff. This is, this is my sister's stuff. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm, I like, like, like St. Anthony, you know, <laughs> the monk, the original monk, that's me traveling. No money, animals and the, you know, not even the kindness of strangers. And I, somehow it just happens because I, I, I walk by faith, not by sight. When I look at a lot of Christians, they say, how do I say, what, well, they say, I said, oh, you Christian, you, you say that, you don't believe that. No, you don't. You'd be, you be petitioning God. You'd be doing all kinds of things to try to get, but you know, no, 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 no. Anyway, so I, so I, but, but I was trying to find, and I know it's from Corinthians, but I, I looked, just looked up, I, I Googled, you know, you know, whatever. Hey, hey, what happened? No, get out of here. I don't want you. Oh, so I looked up here. I, mean, I can't read this. Put my other glasses on. So, I, oh, it's, it's big enough. So I looked at there and it says, since losing his sight in, t in 2015, this is just somebody's testimony, 2 Corinthians 5, um, five 7, right? Has become my motto. It says, for we walk by faith, not by sight. I like the we thing here, but you know, I, that's another, that's, that's my other adjustment. This is a matter. Uh, over the last five years, I have seen this verse ring true in my life, both spiritually and literally as I navigate the world without, without my sight. That's what this person is saying, right? And, you know, but I, I was known this 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Hey, Five or seven is my some my numbers here, right? Baby? So uh, let me look up. Let me find <laughs> Corinthians. <laughs> oh boy, how do I find Corinthians, man? Y'all gotta help me out here. Let me see if I can find. I should have. I should have. Uh, I should have. Um, how do you say that? Uh, look, looked at this way ahead of time, prepared. But now you got to go through me like like I got to go through this Bible too, you know. Oh, uh, hey, Corinth, 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 ten, nine, ten. Oh, Corinth, Corinth. I guess this is Corinthians. I hope it is. What was it? Corinthians two. Oh, not two. Uh, five seven. Yeah, well, I know what I'm. Uh, it's my birthday, so I can do that. Corinthians four five. Uh, five. Chapter five, six, seven. Oh, that Corinth. Now that's not Corinthians. That's not the right one. Let me look. I gotta find. 
I gotta find Corinthians now. I can't they didn't say Corinth right there. I gotta find where it says Corinthians. Uh it's the Corinthians is the Old Testament, I guess, but this says the New Testament, so maybe it's not in here. Corinth. Yeah, I guess it's not in here. Anyway, so I I thought I would oh here but I got a nice uh give you the thing right here. So I don't know my Bible because I don't know. Well, it's not my Bible. It's just my Bible now. But anyway, I got this because I want to use it. I don't know how I'm going to use it. I'm going to, well, it's, it's the, the New Testament. I guess Corinthians is the Old Testament, isn't it? Maybe it's the New Testament. Here's, it says Corinth. I don't know. Y'all help me out. Somebody help me out. Yeah, it's still, let me just look here one more time. Uh, Make sure I got the right thing there. It says. Oh. What? Hey, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Answer four. Here, five. Seven, third, therefore, we left for even the Christ, the Passover. Five, seven. I know that uh, true cause Christ the Lamb of God and the Passover. Okay, so it's not there. It must be the Old Testament. But here's the way they they talk. In the, uh, see, they have a, a translation here on this side here, but here is the the way the Gullah, Gullah people would, would be reading it. Now I got to really put the glasses on because I got to read this. Just uh. It's just one part here. I just thought I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna end this soon. Don't worry about it. You know, you know we could talk long enough. Um, for true, people they tote the news. Say some monks, monks on a e e d church, the live loose life, and that's so bad that they even them, uh, with in no God ain't live that way. I like the way they talk, man. I'm not a great reader, but I mean, let me just read. Let me just pick him. A done judge demand in the name of the Lord uh, would do this. We, oh, I just like the way, man, I got to get down there just to hear the people, just to hang out and hear the people talk because they talk like me, like that. So there you are. And got the New Testament. Too bad they don't have the Old Testament. They have to have the Corinthians there. We walk by faith. I walk by faith, not by sight. That's why all this stuff happens. Okay, so I'll check you later. Just a little bit, uh, some some information, you know, you know, from me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>